Hello and welcome, my resin printing friends. Today, I want to talk about my original Elgumars that I bought on Amazon when they first came out on Amazon here in the U.S., I don't know, a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. Since then, I've replaced the screen twice, and finally, the touch screen went out. And what I mean by that is, the touch screen works, but you have to pretty much take your finger like a half inch to a quarter of an inch below what you want to press to get it to work. Therefore, if the model you want to select is on the bottom of the screen, you can't press it because you can't put your fingers down low enough to fix it. So I contacted Elegoo. They were nice enough to send me out a replacement screen, which I have here. And today we're going to install it. It's very simple to do, but a lot of, a lot of you may not know or may not have a clue as to how to open the machine up. So let me uh, flip my screens here and we'll get right to it. First off, I want to show you the symptoms. See, I'm pressing tools, nothing's happening, but if I press down here, then it pops up. And if I want to go up or down, take the top off there so you can see it moving. Say I want to go up. I'll set that for 10. And I press right on it, it's not working. But if I go up here and press higher, Well, let me try 10 down. See, I'm pressing right on it. It's not moving. Go down here below it. Go way down. There, it starts to go, but I'm on way off the button. So, anyway, it, it's a pain. I can't print with it, so it's time to replace it. So, the first thing you want to do, let's go ahead and turn it off. And since we got our finger back there, let's just unplug it. Then take your little tool kit that was supplied with your Elegoo Mars. Take out the provided little driver here and let's take off this front cover be four screws they're actually they're little bolts they're not screws and we got two on this side To hold the front on, there's two on each side, and to hold the back on, there's two on each side. But we're only dealing with the front today. Real small, so set them out of the way so you don't lose them. You kind of grab this with your fingers. Pry the left side, pry the right side with your fingernails. It'll kind of come forward. Nice and easy. Turn that around so you can see the inside of it. And there's the ribbon cable and the screen. The ribbon cable is attached. It appears to be fine. So let's take a look and see what came in the box. Obviously packing. Here's the screen. Here's a new strip. And that's all that's in there. So, let's see how these little connectors come off here. Okay, let me turn that around where you can see the screen. Now, if you can see it, you have a little tiny white bar. There's a brown bar above it that you lift up, and then you can see where the ribbon cable starts, where the blue is there. So, I'm going to take a small little, put my glasses on so I can see better. got a razor knife here. I don't have my finger, my fingernails are too short right now. I'm just going to pop up that little brown bar. It just kind of pops out. Now, can you see that? It just kind of clicked out. It didn't lift up. It just clicked towards the blue tape a little bit. And that's it. And then that ribbon cable pops out. Now, they did supply a new ribbon cable. There's no reason to replace it. There's nothing wrong with this one. There's no movement, no friction whatsoever. So I'm going to leave that and just go after the screen. And I've got four little nuts here I need to remove. I've got a 732nd socket. Um, if you don't have a socket, you can use a pair of pliers very carefully. And they're not very tight. Just put a socket on it, loosen them up. And take all four of them off. Just don't lose it. 
And if you drop things on the floor a lot, you might want to do this on top of a mat of some sort. Whether it's a wham bam mat or you got one off Amazon, those rubber mats are great. They got a little lip on them, and the you know, parts tend to stay on the mat and not fall pop on the floor. So, let's leave that screen there for a minute. Let's open up the new one here, see what we got. Make sure it looks right. Got a protective covering on the front of it. It's a little different there on the bottom, but the plugs look the same. Got this area here it looks different. So let's go ahead and pull off that protective coating. Get my fingers on it. Ta-da! Now I'll turn that the same direction. Simply pull this one off, set it down. I think there's some gunk around that. Let me wipe that off. Okay, Make sure I pick up the correct one. And see, there's that little bar I was talking about right there. It simply clicks up and clicks down. Set the new one in place, and let's put four nuts back on. And if all goes well, this will be printing some goodies here in a little bit. Got my other, uh, where'd it go? There it is. Take my glasses off. I don't need to see that to put nuts on. Well, I don't think I do. Seems like the older I get, the worse my eyes get out of the blue. Guess I need to eat more carrots. Okay, I take my socket, put it back on, and just snug it. Don't have to be tight. Just snug it. Now, if I was to have this on to a uh, ratchet, then I'd over, obviously I'd over tighten it. So it's best just to leave it like it would, you know, just do it by hand. Very simple and easy. Okay, let's come over to the blue ribbon cable. Slide it back underneath that white bar. Actually, I've got it turned around the wrong way, don't I? Yep, I do. Goes underneath the black bar, because that's the one I had to click up. Okay, let me put my glasses back on. Make sure I can get this in there straight. All right, and I pressed it in with one finger, and I clicked it down with the other, so that looks good. But we're going to turn it on real quick, and let's make sure before we put it back together. Better safe than sorry. Okay, plugged in. I see a screen, and it beeped. The light glaring on is kind of hard to see. We'll go to tools. It worked. Let's go to the up and down button. That worked. Let's hit 10 millimeters and let's press down. Yay! That fixed it. Well, that's awesome. Hit stop. Let me turn it off and put the cover back on. Kind of line up both sides. Yeah, see, I got a cockeyed there, so we pull this one back out. We kind of get both sides in at once lined up. Okay. 
There it is. Make sure the screw holes are lined up. And then those four screws I set up out of the way so I wouldn't knock them off the table. Okay, there's one. Just get it snug, don't get it tight. No reason to break things. Problem I had growing up with auto mechanics working on vehicles is I like to tighten things up, get them rock tight. And I broke so many things, getting them over tight. But with printers, you know, they're delicate and you just got to be careful. So, what's the word I'm looking for? Manhandle it. Don't manhandle it. Yeah, I could have done this video real quick. I could have played music or something and elevator music all the way through it or something, but I think you guys would rather talk to me. It's more personal if I'm talking to my subscribers. And, uh, yeah. Put the cover back on. Oops, let's see. The slot goes in the back. This one is not a solid cover. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And that's it. So, this old one, yeah, I don't know what happened to it. I do see a little bit of resin on the screen around the edges. Don't know if the resin caused the problem or if it just went bad, but uh, somehow it got a little bit of resin on it, as you can see there on the screen. So, that may have caused it. I don't really know. I don't know how that got on it. I'm careful and clean when I work with things. But we got an extra uh, ribbon cable if we ever need it. I don't think we will, so it'll just go in my uh, supplies of parts. If I ever need it for something, I'll have it. So... Pick my wrench, I'll put it back in here, and I keep this stuff with my resin printer. There's some extra parts that came with it originally, some extra uh, little bolts there. So I'll just keep that in the little basket next to it. Safety first, close the razor knife. And that's it. It's just that easy to replace your screen on your Elegoo Mars. Uh, at the time of this recording, I could not find them on Amazon.com here in the U.S., so I contact Elgu directly, and I believe it got shipped out from California right away. I got it fairly quick here in Las Vegas, Nevada. But it was very simple, easy to do. So please like, subscribe, share this video. Consider ringing that bell so you know when I go live next or I post another video. So happy resin printing, everybody. Take care.